Welcome back everyone. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hannah, also known as Tropical Plant Addict. And today I'm going to be giving my Biorb Air Terrarium a bit of a makeover as it's looking a little bit wild. I've been meaning to do this for a while, so I'm really looking forward to giving it a good old rescape. Right, where do I start is the question. I also really wanted to show you my Decinia Marmorata Jewel Orchid because it's produced a massive flower spike that's over 40 centimetres long and it is quite something. So I'm going to get that out and show you. I'm going to try taking off the lid, which is something I didn't do last time. Sorry if my head's chopped off during the video and I'm probably going to make a real mess. So I'm going to start off by taking out a few plants just to make it a bit easier so I can kind of get to some of them to prune and then rearrange them a little bit. I've got to be very careful of the Begonia amphioxus because they are so fragile, literally you can just touch it and the leaves fall off. So I won't be surprised if I lose a few leaves, hopefully not though. Okay, just look at this. This is my Decinia marmorata. Look at the flower spike. When it's stretched out, it's over 40 centimetres long. When I first got this plant and I was doing a bit of research on it, I was reading that it is very hard to care for and it's very fussy, but mine has been super happy and obviously it's pretty happy if it's produced this flower spike. I'll bring it closer to the camera so you can get a better look. So this particular jewel orchid is just literally wrapped in sphagnum moss and kind of, I kind of dug a little hole for it and then just placed it into the soil. They do not like to be sat in soggy media, so I haven't really been watering it very much at all, just giving it a little mist around the, the moss every now and again. I'm gonna put him in there. Oh gosh, right, where's my scissors? So as you can see, the angel's tears has gone a bit wild and kind of overtaken the biorb, which I knew would happen, but I just wanted to put some in and see what would happen. I'm going to take some out and then I'm going to reposition it, probably at the back of the terrarium. And I might even slope up the back a little bit more, like I did when I first got the terrarium. Okay, so I've zoomed in to the Biorb Air so you can get a bit of a better look. Sorry about the reflection of the light on it. Once I've finished replanting it and everything, I will give you a proper tour. The Talansia cyanea has rooted well. This one has finished flowering and has started to produce a new pup here at the side. I will wait till it gets a bit bigger until I um, take the pup away. These little pots around my biob are predatory mite treatment for the thrips that I had in here that were attacking some of my plants. I have also been rooting a couple of um, Begonia amphioxus leaves that fell off and as you can see, they root really well in water as long as they're in the right conditions. As long as the humidity is high, let me try and get them out. I kind of don't want to even move the Begonia amphioxus because it has rooted and I don't want to damage it. So I'm going to try and work around it if I can. So here's one big clump of the angel's tears. Oh, and my jewel orchid's attached to it. I'm not sure if I'll keep this piece of wood. I'll see how much room I've got left. 
This moss hasn't been getting enough light because the angel's tears was kind of covering it. So I might not bother putting that back in. I'll see. This peperomia at the front here wasn't doing so well on the windowsill. I kept moving it around and it just looked really sad. So I decided to put it in here and it's really come back to life, which is great. I'm really rubbish with anything succulent. I'm quite surprised actually it's doing so well in here because the soil's um, slightly moist all the time and they don't really like moist soil, but it seems to be doing okay. I say that as I knock a couple of the leaves off. <laughs> so I don't really have a plan with the rescaping, I'm just kind of winging it. I'm just gonna go ahead and prune a few things in here. My syngonium here is looking a little bit sad because he was attacked by thrips. So I'm just gonna cut off this sad looking leaf. Just trimming some damaged leaves off my little Alocasia Bambino. Another one that the thrips seem to enjoy. So I'm just going to begin building up the back of the biob with some, some more media. So as well as the coir compost that originally came with the biob, I've been using a terrarium mix, which is a mix of coir compost activated charcoal, sphagnum moss, and I think it's got some wood chips in there as well, or cocoa chips. So that's what I'm going to be using to build up the back. I will link it below for you in the description box. I've actually been using this mix as well for some of my house plants for a while now. My McCode's Petola jewel orchids have multiplied I think I originally put like two or three of them in and there's loads of them now. I don't really want to disturb the jewel orchids either, but I feel like I need to kind of bring them in a little bit. I might move the peperomia towards the back of the biob where I'm scaping it up, as that will not be receiving quite so much moisture from the water tank. So it'll probably do a bit better up there. Just put it there for now. So I'm just placing the angel's tears at the back. I'll see how it does here. If it gets a bit crazy again, I'll just take it out. I'm not going to put the tenanthi back in because I know that it had some thrips on it, so I will treat it and put it in a pot. I'd still like my Decinia marmorata to be the centerpiece. So I'm going to dig a hole and place him in. Not quite sure what I'm going to do about this flower spike. Just have to kind of tuck it under for now. I really didn't want to move it, but I'd love to move the begonia a bit more to the front of the biorb. If I can, I'll just try and grab the whole thing. Like the Tenanthe, the variegated Syngonium has had thrips, so I'm going to treat it and just put it in a pot for now. And then once it's okay, I'll put it back into the biorb. You won't be able to see, but Marvin is currently nibbling on my feet as I'm filming. <laughs> Thanks, Marvin. Marvin's my green-cheeked conure. I'm just repositioning the Fetonia more towards the side. It gives me a bit of space here now, just to put the Talantia back in. I'd love some cushion moss to finish off the look, but I don't have any at the moment, so that'll have to wait for now. It 
doesn't look quite as crowded as it did, so that's good. Marvid's come to help, haven't you, buddy? I just went round the front to have a look and I just put the piece of wood back there because it looked a bit bare. I really need some moss to put in these gaps to kind of cover the soil. And also I might try building up the Fetonia at the back here a bit. I think I'm going to stick the Begonia amphioxus rooted leaves into the soil. I can't believe how long these roots are, it's crazy. Here it is all lit up. I feel like I definitely need to dress the soil with some nice green cushion moss, which I'll pick up another day and possibly put a nice fern at the back there just to build it up a bit more at the back. It's not quite as crowded as it was before. There's still quite a lot of plants packed in there, but I'll just see how it goes. I can always take some out. And I'm really surprised I didn't knock any leaves off the Begonia amphioxus because they're so fragile. I'm very pleased about that. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all soon. Take care everyone.